enough. I can totally relate to this, what this little girl is saying. Uh, this is a YouTuber called Belief in Fatherhood. And he's one of those inspirational, genuine, real YouTubers who, you know, loves his family and is dedicated to being a good father. And it's just amazing how he conducts himself. It's just amazing how he's aware that he's not the best parent, like the best father, but he wants to be. And he knows each and his kids, each and uh, all of his kids uh, are individuals and they act differently. And of course, he knows he can't treat them the same, but he is just amazing. I got to, I got to... <laughs> He uploaded this uh, video recently of his little girl swearing up and down that she is pregnant. <laughs> and it's just funny because it, it's, it's hilarious. She thinks that because she's sick and crying that she's pregnant. Now, mind you, this girl is between four to six year old. Um... You know, of course, how does a four-year-old know she's pregnant? I mean, she has uh, a younger sibling named Uzi. And so she's aware that perhaps her mom was sick and crying due to the hormones while she was pregnant with her little brother. And, of course, she sees, oh, that's associated with it. Okay, so perhaps that's that. Of course, her dad is telling her, how can you be pregnant? Now, she knows that a baby comes from the belly just doesn't really know how it gets there. So, you know, he tries to understand her and tries to guide her and, hey, how, you know, how this works. Eh, let's just say it doesn't work out like that. I mean, it's just funny. Now, the reason why I can relate to this girl is this girl had to be a little bit older than me when I thought I was pregnant. <laughs> I was about three to four years old. Now, I knew, like her, that the baby came from the mom's belly. I didn't know exactly how that came to be until I got the talk when I was about eight years, about seven, maybe eight years old when I was in uh, uh, second grade. It wasn't until I got older that I knew the mechanics of it, you know, things like that. But when I was younger, I truly thought, you know, all these women, because I was around a lot of pregnant women, and they, you know, they looked like, you know, they were eating a lot and things like that. So I truly thought, oh, so you get pregnant by eating a lot of food. <laughs> And me being a three to four year old, whenever my stomach expanded, I thought I was pregnant. You know, and it was just a strange thought, you know, for a three to four year old myself to be thinking I'm pregnant because I ate a lot. Like I said, I didn't know the mechanics of everything until I got older. Um... Of course, yes, the child. I just, the, at that moment in time, I only knew that the child came, grew in the belly and came out of the mother's vagina. That was the only thing that I knew about at that moment in time. When I was eight years old, I was given the talk, and the way my mother, my mother explained it one thing, and me being young and innocent, I'm like. So that happens if I hug a boy, I get pregnant, things like that. Of course, yes, she gave me the sex talk. And yes, babies do come from having sex, but it's a lot more complex. And there's a lot more mechanics of it, uh, being involved with it. You know, I was four years old. I mean, I have to give props to this guy for being so patient with his little girl, for helping her understand, okay... How do you know that, you know, it's impossible, you're four years old, it's impossible for you to get pregnant. Of course, as an adult, you know how, how it happens, you know, but for him to be so chill and like to understand where she's coming from, you know, that's something I wish my parents, you know, did. I mean, growing up, if I came up to them with a ridiculous thing that I truly believe that I thought was real. I would be dismissed, I would be reprimanded, I would be scolded. In other words, I would have zero to no help, you know, and 
some of the stuff I had to learn on my own, which could have easily take no more than five minutes to help me guide me in the right direction. But I got to give him props. I got to give this dude props. I, I wish my parents were like that, to understand, to want to understand, you know, to, okay, she doesn't work, her mind doesn't work like other kids, you know, okay, how is she thinking this? Why is she thinking this? Okay, did something happen? You know, I just wish they took the time, they stopped, took the time to really understand where I was coming from. You know, I had a rather unconventional up bringing I would say I think that's the best way I can explain it and let's just say it was unconventional and unacceptable in my opinion that's how I feel I know a lot of people I know they would disagree but let's just say I kind of felt like certain things that I was going through was unacceptable for me as a kid to be going through that when no kid would should but like i said i have to give him props i mean knowing what i know now if i had the opportunity to go back in time and meet this three to four year old me i would simply sit them down and explain to them in the most simplistic way you know hey you're not pregnant it's just gas you know, and that happens. The body has its natural way of gas. You burp it or you fart it. Or you fart it out. You know, there's two ways for it to come out. And that happens when your body's digesting food. And depending on how your body reacts to the food you eat, it's going to take, uh, you know, a certain action is going to happen where you burp it, you fart it, or you just happen to do a number two, you know. A simple explanation, you know, but I, I think the word, the term that I would simply use, like the term I know for a fact, uh, it's simple and I'm using to understand, and of course, how I explain what that means. It means gas and stuff like that. It, the answer is, to me, the answer is very simple. It's called bloating. 